The subjects of some debate in recent years, museums are the keepers of some of humanity's greatest treasures. Likewise, they also serve to remind us how far we come as they preserve and display human history. Here are our picks for the top 10 museums in the world. Number 10, Topkapi Palace, Istanbul, Turkey. The Topkapi Palace is a standing testament to an era of Ottoman rule in Turkey. The beautiful palace interior is a sight to behold with its European Arab influenced architecture and design. In 1924, the palace was opened to the public in the form of a museum. The most important of its 100 rooms are on display with artifacts from the Arabian world, including armor, weaponry, pottery, and ornate garmentry worn by the Ottoman leaders. Number nine, Rijksmuseum Amsterdam, the Netherlands. While Amsterdam houses many museums dedicated to some of the most influential visual artists and the Van Gogh Museum should always be on your list despite its long wait times, the Rijksmuseum is a must see. The museum houses the largest collection of art and history in the Netherlands. And even though Rembrandt has his own museum, one of his best paintings, The Night Watch, resides at the Rijksmuseum. Number eight, the Uffizi Gallery, Florence, Italy. Built in the 16th century by Giorgio Vasari for Cosimo de' Medici as public offices, the museum is now home to the world's finest collection of Renaissance-era paintings. Works by Botticelli, Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Titian, and Rubens are all on display, making the museum a must for anyone in Florence. Number seven, the Vatican Museums, Vatican City, Italy. The home of the renowned Sistine Chapel and the Raphael Rooms, when traveling to Vatican City, the Vatican Museums are unmissable. The museums were founded by Pope Julius II in the 16th century, and there are a total of 54. The Vatican is also thought to house the world's largest collection of art, with nine miles worth of pieces. Number six, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. New York City, New York. There's something even for Mets fans at the Met, which houses some of the most important pieces of work from the 20th century. There is also something for those interested in fashion, as its garment department features significant pieces from historic and contemporary periods. Number five, the Prado, Madrid, Spain. Situated in Spain's capital, the museum contains most of the art commissioned by kings and queens of the past. 16th to 18th century monarchs, to be exact. Works from Velázquez, Goya, Ribera, Zurbaran, Titian, and Raphael are all featured in the museum. A painting of particular interest is Diego Velázquez's Las Maninas, which, even if you accidentally stumbled into an art history class, you will definitely have heard about. Number four, the British Museum, London, England. The site of some scorn for its history and manner of acquiring artifacts from formerly colonized countries, the British Museum currently still plays home to some of the biggest artifact collections in the world. The famed Rosetta Stone, yes, the one that inspired the app, is on display here, and so are many other ancient Egyptian, Greek, and Nigerian artifacts. Despite the controversy attached, learning about these prestigious cultures at the British Museum is an experience like no other. Number three, the Acropolis Museum, Athens, Greece. The glass floors in the building allow you a clear view of the actual Acropolis floor and the process of the archeological excavation. Many areas of Athenian life are put on display in the museum that allows a radial view of artifacts as they are displayed in open spaces that are characterized by changing natural light. Number two, Le Louvre, Paris, France. A picture says a thousand words, but pictures of incredible Renaissance paintings don't actually say much at all. There is nothing quite like seeing the Mona Lisa up close in her original form as da Vinci painted her. The beautifully designed Louvre welcomes you via I.M. Pei's pyramid and houses the Venus de Milo, the winged victory of Samothrace, and sleeping Hermaphroditus. Number one, Smithsonian Institute, Washington, D.C. 
We made a joke earlier about the Met having something for everyone, but even that cannot compete with the sheer volume of artifacts housed by the collective Smithsonian Museums. Whether you're interested in natural history, air and space travel, African American history, the history of film and television, and even more art, the Smithsonian Institute has something for you. Some of the smaller museums can be tackled two at a time, and larger ones will have you busy from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.